A major announcement in the office furniture industry. Herman Miller is acquiring fellow giant Newell Incorporated as part of a $1.8 billion deal. And joining us to talk about it, Jason Bussa, senior editor with our partners at MI Biz. Jason, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, these are two big companies. Can you put this announcement into perspective for us? Yeah, I mean, to put it in simplest terms, I mean, you're taking two large companies, two companies that were still on their own, kind of in the top tier of the contract furniture industry and, and bringing them together to kind of create a mammoth. And, you know, uh, some people are starting to kind of label, you know, after this merger, uh, uh, starting to label Herman Miller as, as sort of a, a leader, uh, the leader in the contract furniture industry. But, you know, that still remains to be seen. Obviously, across town, you have Steelcase, who's been in that role for, you know, 47 years, standing as the global office furniture leader. Um, so, you know, they're not going anywhere and when you look at the combined revenues of Herman Miller and Noel that's around uh, 3.6 billion uh, dollars so that would in 2020 would have made them uh, at the top of the industry uh, ahead of Steelcase but at the same time because of the the pandemic and all the disruptions that it kind of ushered in with it um, it's still hard to compare the two um, at the end of the day I mean will Herman Miller uh, drive more revenue than Steelcase will they be bigger uh, that remains to be seen, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, Herman Miller is going to be, you know, at the very top, and that's, you know, a spot they hadn't been previously. So, Well, let's talk about the timing with this. The office furniture industry is in a bit of a lull right now thanks to the pandemic, and so many people are working from home. So why now? Yeah, I mean, I, that's one thing that I think uh, sort of the sentiment I've been collecting is that people do like the timing of this is because a lot of, you know, companies are really almost kind of scrapping, you know, their approach to the office and kind of going back to the drawing board and, and thinking, you know, what can we do to kind of adjust to, you know, the, the big buzz term for a while has been the new normal. And a lot of changes that have come with the, the pandemic are gonna stick and they want their offices to reflect that. So, you know, these are two companies that really um, didn't always focus on just the largest buyers and those Fortune 500 contracts. Um, you know, they found ways to play in the home office market and small business market. So they've really kind of been proactive in um, being able to seize on the opportunities that we're gonna see come our way. And uh, you know, that might uh, play favorably for them. All right, Jason Bussa, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me.